jam. <laughs> Toon Jam. Hello and welcome to Toon Jam. I am Matt. And I'm Jamie. And we are continuing on our MTV cartoon television episode saga. I feel like I kind of didn't lower my voice enough towards the end there. <laughs> but still, <laughs> that's yeah. what we're continuing with. <laughs> and today we are watching Liquid Television. Ooh. Liquid Television is an animated showcase uh, series that appeared on MTV from 1991 to 1995. It served as the launching point for several high-profile original cartoons such as Beavis and Butthead and Aeon Flawless. In fact, most of the episodes will be doing and have done are from Liquid Television originally. Uh, the bulk of Liquid Television's material was created by independent animators and artists, especially for the show. Uh, some of the previously produced segments were compiled from festivals such as Spike and Mike's Festival of Animation, everyone's favourite festival of animation. The first season of Liquid Television also appeared uh, on BBC Two in co-production with MTV. Ultimately, MTV commissioned three seasons of the show which was produced by Colossal Pictures, and the show was eventually succeeded by Cartoon Sushi. Have you ever heard of Cartoon Sushi? It rings a bell, but I might just be confusing it with something else. Yeah, so it's another... It's, an, it's a similar thing, I think, that they did. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, Mark Mothersbaugh... Mothersbaugh? How do you say it? Mothersbaugh? I think it's Mothersbaugh, yeah. Yeah. He composed the music. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Of course he did. Of course he did. Um, there were also a large number of animation pieces adapted from the work of Art Spiegelman's comic compilation, Raw. Yeah. Um, which is pretty interesting. He also did Mouse, for anyone that knows. Uh, very good. And another fun fact, well, more of a... A sad fact. Uh, it's not really sad, but you know. Due to extensive use of licensed music throughout the series, episodes often began with a contemporary music video being liquid, sorry, flipping it, liquefied. Um, full episodes of Liquid Television have not been seen in any form since its original run. Selected segments from the series, including the first appearances of Aeon Flux, were released on two VHS tapes in the late 1990s as the best of li Liquid Television Parts 1 and 2. These tapes are long out of print. Uh -huh. The collection volume titled Wet Shorts, the best of Liquid Television, comprising the two VHS tapes, was released on DVD in 97. But this too is out of print. So where do you watch it? Liquidtelevision.com. That's where. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. So, interesting stuff. Mm. Um, we watched the first episode of Liquid, and it is uh, it is an interesting show. Mm. I mean, I, I always like watching like showcase compilation shows, um, just because they're 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 very. You never feel like you're watching an actual TV show. Yeah. You feel like you're being included in something. That's it. It's like it's like a, I guess, pilot season in America and stuff like that. Mm. You know, you it's like watch these, and even if it's all crap, you can still think you can you you'll have enjoyed it because you'd be like, I didn't like any of that, but I'm glad that I was part of it. <laughs> yeah, it gives you a sense of purpose almost when you're watching it. That's it. So liquid television. I mean, it is like the epitome of 90s MTV, this show. Oh, yeah. There's, was there like little MTV adverts in between or were they just like, because it was like hard to like differentiate between what were just like little like sector dividing parts and then what were. Yeah, part of the show, I think it was it's like, all part of the show. Yeah, because it was like. There was like a little bit that was like said MTV in it and stuff, and it was yeah. like, oh, it's like a break or like what? Well, <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all the, the like it's all the stuff that they had in in the middle of the breaks and stuff, wasn't it? Like, yeah. 
I suppose that's the way MTV MTV wasn't it wasn't a normal channel, was it? No, no, it wasn't. And and actually, when you think about it, like it is pretty incredible when you look back that they made like a they made like a new thing with mm. MTV. Like it didn't it didn't run to the same you know didn't dance to the same tune as the other other channels. Yeah. Uh, now I I think it does, but oh yeah. It was it was like it was really like you can just tell it's so cool. Mm. And th- this this show has got like and, and what's good is that nothing is off limits as far as satire. Mm. Like there's no it's not like oh the people that like MTV are the only people that we won't make fun of. Yeah. It's just literally like anyone, you know, the current norm, whatever. Yeah. They all make fun of it. I mean, at least in this episode, they did. Mm. Um, but it's not. I mean, it's not all comedy. That's that's yeah. the thing, isn't it? And obviously, the first episode had Aeon Flux on, which we'd watched the first episode of mm. anyway. But this is like the first, the first half of the first episode. So it's like two minutes, isn't it? Mm. If that. Um, but it's got some weird whack score over it. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. Did it have that in the one we watched? Uh, I think so, yeah. Did yeah. it? I think so. Uh, maybe it was just like the rest of the episode, but it mm. seemed a lot more... It seemed like Aeon Flux light. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what they, that's all they watched to make the film. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's Just it. that scene. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is it. This is exactly what we want. This is what we want, just some light-hearted shooting. Mm. Like, I don't remember anyone even... There was no blood in it, was there? No, I think you just sort of see them, all the people fall down and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know if it got worse as the episode went on sort of thing. Yeah. So that was interesting. Mm. Uh, and there was all sorts, I mean, what else? So we had this weird, like, Captain Captain Sarcasm's serial. Yeah. Which, which is a two-parter. Yeah, it was like something bloodbath, something other else. So like yeah. it's one of those classic moments that I I don't, I don't think we really had the same type of stuff over here where kids have like decoder rings inside of cereal boxes. Yeah, it's one of oh, those. We had, we had toys, didn't we, in our cereal? But not. Yeah. I don't remember. Maybe it's an older thing. But yeah, mm. decoder rings. We never we never really had, did we? No, I've just seen it like a million times in cartoons. It's like the yeah. only reason I know what that is. Um, and some some kid finds a decoder ring in in his, and then. He's like, oh yeah, this is going to be really cool, and then it it ends up being a pretty intense adventure along the way. He yeah, sort of, like he, he turns into a, like a little superhero at one point, doesn't he? Like he gets a, wait, it's basically so a clothes surreal. change. Yeah, because there's a giant like early 3D mm. metal spider bug thing attacking yeah. the city. So it starts off as some daft advert, the first half, and then the second half is like really gets real. So yeah. he puts on his ring and sort of jumps out the window, can't fly, it lands in a bin, luckily. Goes to fight it, sprays it with a can of raid. It doesn't like it works, but doesn't work. Yeah. And then the real captain sarcasm comes. Mm. That that's the point, I think, for me, that it got weird. Yeah. And he's got this hilariously giant chin that's like intrusive on his face. <laughs> it's so big. And then he just starts being sarcastic, but in a really like, like scary sort of strange way. And then just gets killed. Yeah. The bug just mushes him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's the kind of, it's just weird, isn't it? Yeah. Just was it never goes where you're expecting it to go. So no, um, and uh, but the I mean the animation on that one was pretty good. Yeah, for like, saying at first it. I was like, is, I don't know if it is or it isn't. Like I think the art style was a bit. Mm. It was like the art style wasn't great, but the animation was spanking. Yeah. Um, they had they had sort of a thing about oil as well, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, that was a little little sort of infomercial bit in the middle that was like yeah. boycott oil companies that are, you know using up like resources on the planet and stuff and it's like oh snap yeah and now like it's, it's just another thing you think like mtv was so cool 
Yeah. And now it like pushes the Kardashians. <laughs> so messed it's up, like, isn't it? Oh, um, life. It's, it's like it's like those people that they were actually getting at finally got to MTV. Like they, ra- it was like the raid, um, <laughs> but like in the MTV offices, and they finally took over. And now they're pushing out all the stuff that they they hated. Yeah. It's like some. It's a pretty like aggressive takeover of what was like a, you know, like a, a sort of cultural haven for for young people, and you know what was kind of like a revolutionary show format and stuff like. And then now it's you 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 could just not notice it as you scroll through all the rest of the reality tv yeah it's, it's pretty messed up like it is weird it is like very much a case of what happened mm. like yeah. when did it stop being cool i wonder if there is a doc out there that tells you like someone's surely there's like a pbs documentary of like what happened to mtv or, or whatever if not we need to make one we need yeah. to know the truth of what happened to MTV. It is like the more the more we like look through the stuff on it, the mm. more it becomes like what what on earth happened? Yeah. When did it go from being like edgy? Yeah. To you know, just becoming what it is now. Mm. The exact opposite. Yeah. It's, it's so weird. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know, money, I guess. But. Yeah, because I mean, th- this is like, th- this show was like a, a like a really cool way of like getting indie animators and like indie cartoonists and stuff like onto, you know, yeah. like scene Splatter. and stuff like that. Like this is like loads of these people like hadn't really done anything before or like, you know, like this was their big push. And it's like, imagine how cool it would have been to be like, oh, I'm on MTV. Yeah. <laughs> like at the time, we're doing a world good. Yeah. Um, and obviously they weren't like you know there's not like a huge bunch of like standards or or like there's no there's no qualifying level like oh you have to be like a seasoned animator or your stuff has to look like this because it was all so different and like yeah. it didn't it wasn't even all animated the same there was stop motion there was like 3d stuff um there was like hand drawn there was a mix of the two there was live action like so it was like however you want to make your stuff like, yeah. we'll showcase it it's like I'd, I wouldn't know where to go to do that today, even though things like YouTube exist. Like, yeah. like I, you know, the, other than putting it out myself, I wouldn't know where, you know, like where's the show that's like, open, you know, their, their doors are open to like. Yeah, the future like, it, seemed, it seemed we had loads of it. Sort of. When we were kids, there was like, mm-hmm. I suppose this and. Uh, what a cartoon yeah i suppose it's only them two but still that's like way more than now but yeah you yeah. just don't i don't know maybe it's to do with the fact that you know it's the way tv changed mm-hmm. and music channels i mean do they even just show music on music channels now i don't know i don't know i haven't watched them for so long like it's i mean i I don't even. I didn't even. I don't even know if people make music videos anymore. Like whether it's still worth <laughs> it or not. Like, well, you do because it's all that's like that's YouTube in it basically. Oh it's, yeah, I suppose yeah. That's where they get them. Maybe YouTube's a big part of it. I mean. Yeah, probably. Like it. Like I like. So here we like in in 2011, mm. um, MTVX, which is their MTV's cross media group. Mm. Uh, announced the return of liquid television um and it's now it says it is now a network that is available on the internet and social media the first content of the debut uh on the network was effing best song ever by wallpaper available on the website oh, which the website by the way i believe is liquidtelevision.com yeah. um and then full length episodes featuring the online content and all new material were released in 2013. I don't think there's many episodes of it. Right. Um, but on Liquid Television, you can get stuff like that. Um, there's The Head, uh, The Max, right. Daria, uh, Celebrity Deathmatch, and Wonder Chosen. So, yeah, so I guess. 
they they moved it all to the internet is that is that what it is do you think to a degree yeah i think um they shoved some of it on the internet and then i guess that was just a way of saying like you know we've got these things mm. someone so, somewhere i mean it can't just be full of big wigs. I guess someone working at MTV was like, this is what MTV used to be. Mm. Can we bring it back somewhat? Yeah. I mean, this is entirely me just guessing. Oh yeah, this is our fictional. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, whatever we say is just conjecture. So mm. please be aware of that. But, you know, I don't know. It's just weird, isn't it? Mm. And it's because... You know, where else would you get a show that is just about soap p pieces? Yeah. Called soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was yeah. Funny. And then there was the uh, the one that uh, the other one that I liked was the like Lee like arms or whatever it was where it's like. <laughs> oh yeah. It was like, like stick on arms. A good version of one of our fake adverts. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies for those of you listening um it was it was pretty good just people's arms kept breaking off as if they were just made out of like porcelain or whatever <laughs> and then they just get these stick on arms and just like lick them and whack them off lick it and stick it turns out the the, the guy who, who did that went on to do like shrek or something like really <laughs> yeah i think he, he wrote the first shrek film or something but he also worked on all of the series and yeah he, He's in like Penguins of Madagascar or whatever, so like he obviously stuck with it. Oh, is like, he like what he's actually in it? Yeah, I think he's like yeah, I think he's one of the penguins or something. Is he the main one? Uh, I don't know. I he's know. Like... I think it's either I think the main one and maybe the mm. can't remember his name. Private. Mm -hmm. Those two, I think, are animators. Yeah, uh, yeah, that could, it could be then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably that. It's weird because his name is his name's Chris Miller, but it's not Christopher Miller from the Lego movies. Yes, <laughs> it's yeah. a different Chris Miller. <laughs> like, uh, so yeah, he obviously like. I, I wonder how much like liquid television actually like impacted his what he did or whatever. But I yes. mean that that short was really cool. It was really funny. It's like two minutes long, but it was hilarious. Yeah, it was, and there's there's loads like that. I mean. Mm. I imagine you know watching more episodes as well yeah because it, it was just cool it was like watching re like old mtv again mm. like just seeing all the visuals and it was like really proper 90s on it as well like oh yeah i mean i know we say this all the time but watching this did take me back it was like oh yeah like all these daft things and it, and it looked good as well like yeah a lot of it you know obviously there's some things like a lot of the 3D stuff when you watch these stuff is always going to be mm. nowhere near as good just because yeah you know it wasn't but but it's still like it's some it's still impressive knowing yeah. that it's from that time and, and like, that world one you know with all the oil and stuff where the world's being attacked yeah the animation on that was just amazing yeah I thought I don't you know like it just looked really flipping expensive Slick. yeah like movie quality which at the time for mtv must have like that short segment must have cost them more than some of the other ones <laughs> yeah like more than episode one of the head <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> the head the head's uh got a real time budget <laughs> yeah but yeah i mean some i didn't didn't really get on with mm. uh the one with the two, two, what was it? The girls from. Yeah, art school or whatever it was. Art school from hell or something. Yeah. Um, or of doom. Yeah, art school of doom. Art school yeah. Doom, yeah. Didn't really yeah. get on with that. No. Um, it's not really a cartoon, but, you no. know. Either um, way, it was still, like, different, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, and that's yeah. What, like, shows like this, even when you, mm. you're like, ugh. I think I guess the the idea is the next one could be good or whatever, and even if yeah. it's not, you it's it's more like you're actually evaluating it. It's, it's you mm. watch it in a different way than you would, say, episode one of something like The Head. Yeah. Because you're not assessing, you're not assessing it as a whole. 
mm. or even a segment, you're more assess you're more assessing what it's doing. Yeah. It's like, is it worth it? Well, clearly. And it, I suppose watching it with hindsight as well is pretty it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Because you know, you watch it at the time, you don't know that things like Aeon Flux and mm. I mean, Beavers and Butthead, you don't know they're going to be big. You don't know that the guy that made the detachable limbs is going to go on to become, you yeah, know, true, exactly. like a big wig. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's uh, it's pretty crazy, really, to think that it's like, like we're sort of looking back, like you sort of know where some of these journeys go and like, yeah. like look back and be like, oh, look, this is, this is the, the origin point of it and stuff like. And it's a shame that we don't have more like more stuff like this that's, you know, available at, at a, on a mainstream platform. Yeah, I, I wonder what the um, what sort of like Netflix's things are like because they did, you know, they did like uh, Love, Death, and Robots and stuff like that. Like, yeah. I wonder if that was like a sort of all doors open kind of situation. Yeah. Or, or not like, because that that's quite a cool showcase of of uh, animation yeah which i still need to get through um, <laughs> i've only it's, watched the first episode really <laughs> uh, well, yeah the, the first episode i did not enjoy so it was a bit like yeah you have to keep watching that, that yeah. was the that was the city the art school girls episode yeah 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 exactly so i, I will have yeah. to on that yeah there's some really good stuff in there but like they all i mean a lot of it looks quite expensive so i don't know how big the studios are that have made them um, yeah so um but i mean it's cool that there's at least maybe an option out there i uh, know obviously online the... there's there's a few things and, and i know uh, nickelodeon have got their own version yeah i can't remember what it's called i do follow it on uh yeah. on either instagram or facebook or whatever yeah um but that's dead interesting yeah. and so like, i've seen a few where you know sometimes the idea is incredible but the the play out is pretty right yeah lame or you know the art is amazing but you know what whatever sometimes yeah. isn't but it's really so they're always interesting to watch and they're only short yeah and, it, but it's, and that's cool but it's a shame because I guess it depends how i mean a lot of people now just do watch online stuff they'll just watch yeah. youtube or whatever mm. um, and that's i suppose a reflection on how i get my media yeah and maybe maybe not getting with the times i suppose yeah that's true um, but i don't know i don't know yeah I, I i i struggle to sit and watch youtube as i would netflix or something like that oh yeah it's yeah, it's know, definitely it's don't. not for me. I only use YouTube for uh, for like tutorial videos. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's that is like in my frame of mind, like that's what that platform is. Like I know a lot of people like that is their television, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. Like well, he, he's, he annoys me with it because he's constantly sending me stuff that I would like, like channel <laughs> YouTube. And I'm like, all right let's watch a video and then i look at the videos and they're like an hour long really <laughs> and so like, i'm not gonna watch this yeah but then he probably watches them on his tv or mm, yeah i don't like sitting on my phone and watching stuff i mean obviously you can get youtube on your tv so yeah i don't know it's strange isn't it it's just mm. weird a weird thing that i yeah. guess it's the way i view youtube in comparison mm. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's it's kind of weird how it's gone because, I mean, I guess you could say that, like, you know, maybe having something like MTV as, like, a, a main platform was kind of, you know, maybe monopolising somewhat because it was, like, that was all they could have. And YouTube kind of, you know, um, it sort of gave the power back to whoever that wants it sort of thing. But, yeah. like, now it's now it's a, a different ball game altogether, isn't it? Because it's almost, like, so oversaturated that you wouldn't know where to look almost um, on YouTube because YouTube in itself is like, you know, you could get lost in there. There's there's no way of finding a specific type thing unless you know exactly what you're searching for. Yeah. Whereas like, you know, there's other places that would probably, you know, that there isn't really a, a one place to go now is there's no one stop shop. There's 
50 streaming services there's like 8 billion channels there's yeah it's like it's it's too much almost it's gone the complete opposite direction yeah and i think to be honest i i think there'll be i don't think it'll be long before there'll be a, another shift in the way we view stuff because yeah it's getting to a point where there's that many streaming platforms mm -hmm. you won't be able to keep it's like it's it's going to become like normal tv again but yeah. imagine you had to pay for every single channel <laughs> every channel yeah separately it doesn't you, you're just not gonna be able to keep up with it all so no. i think when and, and like more and more channels are bringing out their own streaming thing mm. so it'll there'll come a point where that will you know collapse in on itself i think yeah yeah, oh, it yeah. Just, you can't afford to keep to keep buying them all no it's fracturing too much isn't it really yeah like, it's just too much yeah that's it but you know we digress um <laughs> with television <laughs> um well we've we've talked about it so shall we go to our reviews yes remember mtv it used to play music like this and now it plays music like this. Yo, 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 baby, 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 lick my toes, baby. It used to play shows like this. Oh, oh, my face. I'm eating my own face. Oh, yeah, that's just what we like to do on here. What on oh, my cereal? It's, it's it's inside my mind. Lick your lick your arms and stick them back on. It's okay. And now it plays shows like this. Oh my God, Jenny, um, your Chihuahua only has eight hundred likes. Loser. MTV. Whatever happened to MTV? A PBS documentary coming soon to a remote streaming channel near you. Okay, so here at 2Jam, we have a three-point rating system. You may already know it, you may not. So here is a quick description. It goes as follows. Thumbs up, 1990s MTV. Thumbs down, current MTV. And shaky middle, the early noughties MTV. Mm. So mm. good, bad, in, in the middle, in the middle. So liquid television. Episode one, your thoughts. Yeah, um, very, a very, uh, very varied mix of stuff uh, that was quite enjoyable to just see the, you know, different styles, um, different takes. Um, there's, there's lots, a lot going on in, in a short while. You definitely get your money's worth um, in 20 minutes. Um, yeah. Like, you know, live action in the CGI, I said it all. Um, and there were some really cool little bits like it just shows like you don't need 90 minutes of you know film time to have something that's like funny or interesting or just weird um and it, it just had that uh like you said that sort of flavor of uh, of the 90s i mean like it's it's just a cool showcase to see the the talents of all people that you probably don't know yet um there's a there's there's just there's a lot to like really like it is uh it's, it's it's pretty fun like i probably would watch more like um it's yeah i i enjoyed it i enjoyed like start to finish pretty much like i just wish there was there's more of it so therefore liquid television for me it's gonna have to be a thumbs up a thumbs up very very uh positive review um yeah i i agree um it was it was really cool to watch um i i I, like I said before, a lot, a lot of stuff like this, it's, it's fun to, it's fun to watch mm. in a different way. Like it's not like sitting down, oh, what's, a, what's the next episode of whatever? I want to see what happens next or anything yeah. like that. Um, it's just different in a way that, you know, you're seeing. It, it's like a, it's like going to a gallery or something and mm. seeing what these, sorry, new artists are all. Uh, I've got hiccups or something here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh what these new artists and stuff are doing so it, it's really cool in that aspect it it's good because you know it could be that everything you watch was rubbish mm -hmm. um 
or the majority is as often is with these shows even you know like i said before it could be all crap and you still really enjoy watching it because you don't know what you're getting but but a lot of this was good anyway um and enjoyable it's a shame it's not more available yeah uh, now um and that there isn't new stuff like this uh in, in the same format maybe, maybe there is maybe we just don't know about it and if there yeah, is let us know yeah. um because i'd love to watch more stuff like this but yeah i mean as well a really important point about this is it's or, 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 like it's a absolute mtv brand yeah. like it's almost like this is the epitome of mtv at the time yeah um, and it, and watching it doesn't just have it's not just cartoons like it has bits of everything from mtv set for i guess music um which is obviously a big part of it but the bits of mtv itself as a channel and its own branding is all there like so how can you how can you sort of the, the, the you know is the main thing that MTV was and especially mm. when we've said how many how many times how much we like what MTV was before yeah this is basically it this is where all the cartoons come from mm. this is where all the character of the channel comes from uh, and I imagine a lot of the stuff but well basically everything between you know music videos back in the day and even some of the music videos was animation yeah which is probably why they were so sort of married to it at the time because they just had the segments didn't they with with like like there's a bit in this where there's a guy there's a scientist reading a book or something and then a skeleton cuts his hair into an mtv logo yeah and those were bits that you just saw in between all the time um and it just reminds you of that and it's also a great platform for for new um animators and stuff like that. it's pretty mm. much all pros in it yeah so yeah guaranteed thumbs up from me too really good enjoyed watching liquid television yeah bring it's, it uh, back yes bring it back bring, bring it back, back. <laughs> bring it back. <laughs> yeah liquid television two thumbs fresh as they used to say on the typhoon adverts <laughs> though you know um we have no affiliation with Typhoon T, just a heads yeah. up. Not yet. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so great stuff. So mm. far, MTV's been pretty positive. Yeah. Um, I think the, the lowest it's achieved has been middles. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's not bad at all. No. That's it's pretty weird for I mean you'd think you'd think it'd all be kind of around the same like or you know eventually would dip in quality because it's like not all of these shows continued did they and stuff like that so, yeah yeah you, but I mean it just there was just good stuff there maybe it just didn't get picked up or people moved on to other stuff by the looks of it yeah because um, yeah a lot of good stuff yeah so um enjoying this little uh, jaunt down mtv lane mm. we'll be watching another mtv uh, episode next week so please join us again thank you for joining us today uh remember if you like what you hear please uh feel free to give us a rate and review it really helps us out on whatever you listen to and if you want more we also have a patreon that you can get involved with uh which is all on our social media and links can be found there uh, otherwise you know if you don't agree if you do agree if you want to talk to us about mtv whatever just uh, give us a message on the three um oh my god of the internet uh, facebook instagram and twitter at toon jam pod um otherwise until next time stay jammy hey everyone thank you for listening if you want to help the show keep going you can be extra jammy by heading over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash toonjampod. Here you can get a shout out on the show or unlock bonus episodes. Ratings and reviews anywhere you listen to the podcast also really help us out. So thank you and stay jammy. <laughs>